Experts say it wasn't until after dawn they noticed a man's home was missing. Not on your sides, Jake Ryle is monitoring the search for the man who lived there, 82-year-old man from the Tri-State. Jake? Well, Julie, that search is still ongoing. In fact, just behind me here is Bracken Creek where I'm standing right now. This is where the flooded waters ended up taking over. You're able to see the destructive nature of that storm last night, knocking over trees. This is where the focus of the search and rescue really is on for this missing man. They're still on the shores even at this hour. This is the site along Bracken Creek near Augusta Minerva Road this afternoon. 11 members of the Augusta Fire Department as well as a cadaver dog alongside the creek. They're searching for 82 year old Delmar Nickerson. It's a very slow process. We have a lot of debris piles and uh, it's going to take time to go through everything. 20 in total are searching upstream Nicholson's mobile home unrecognizable. We're able to get a very clear picture of the daylight damage as you're able to see behind us a trailer. Take a look over here just across the way, a pickup truck blown off of where it was about 20 yards, according to officials. Crews have set up a command post and say the more than 20 people searching will continue until they run out of daylight. A tight knit community in Bracken County hoping to find Nicholson. It, it's hard. I mean, it, it's it's extremely hard for the family. Um, and it's, it's, it's hard on all our searchers too. Um, it's, it hits us like family. So it's, it's hard for everyone. And even within the past five to 10 minutes, we've actually heard uh, some humming, some uh, sound from a helicopter that's been going overhead, possibly aiding in this search and rescue. We do plan on hearing a bit, a bit more from this investigation at seven o'clock. There is a press conference scheduled with officials. What updates they have if this search will continue to be ongoing even through the night, possibly into tomorrow. Now, from what officials are telling us, if it does go on tomorrow, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife will be there as well to help. For now, reporting live in Augusta, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.